Welcome to our instructional video on assembling the rigid adult bronchoscope. Our kit usually contains two different sized adult bronchoscopes, light carriers, optical forceps, Hopkins rod, suction guide adapters with rubber guides and camera and lighting equipment. We use this procedure to assess adult airways and remove foreign bodies from the trachea and main bronchuses. The adult rigid bronchoscope has ventilation ports as shown here distally. Approximately there are three ends to the bronchoscope. The size can be seen at the bottom. One is for ventilation tubing, the second is for attachment of suction guide and the third is for insertion of the light carrier and instruments and the telescope. This is the light carrier. These are optical grasping forceps that can be used to remove foreign bodies. First, the light carrier must be inserted along a port on the inside in this lumen as shown here. The light carrier clicks into place and does not move. A light lead can then be attached if the operator is planning on inserting the rigid bronchoscope under direct vision rather than using a camera. Ventilation tubing is then attached, as shown here. The suction guide and rubber stop is then inserted and clicked in place, as shown here. The rubber bung is placed over the top to help avoid air leakage. The rubber telescope guide is assembled and then inserted over the central lumen of the bronchoscope, as shown here. The Hopkins rod can then be inserted through this and then the operator may insert the bronchoscope under direct vision or with a camera head attached. If removing a foreign body using the adult bronchoscope, the optical forceps need to be assembled. Here, the Hopkins rod is passed through the center of the optical forceps, aligned and locked into place. The bronchoscope, assembled as before, minus the Hopkins rod, can have the optical forceps along with the Hopkins rod inserted through the central port. In this case, a camera head is usually attached to the Hopkins rod and the light lead is also attached to the Hopkins rod. This is the final configuration when removing foreign bodies. Thank you for watching.